Booth wanted to shout out Dev for all the behind the scenes work. Definitely a great job, Dev. Anyway, we are going into uh, this next set. We got King Art against Versus John, John Numbers. Numbers. Um, they've definitely played a lot, and I feel like John Numbers is still positive on King Art. But King Art quickly taking the momentum of the set with himself, keeping John at 54% and almost connecting that spike, too. I will mention that the last time they fought was out of bombs, like two weeks ago, I think. And uh, King Ark took it over him. Right, right. I remember watching that from home. Oh, yeah. I remember that. So King, King Ark took that bombs? So, uh, yes. So he's got two bombs under his belt now. Yeah. Wow. My Good man is thoroughly back on no. his bullshit. That's, no. that, that's great, because he took he took one bombs away from Dill, and then yep. he took one bombs away from John Numbers. Good for him. Ooh, and the F smash. I think that was also at the perfect angle to deflect the soccer ball right back at John as well. But right now... He's uh, trying to get the two flame, but he was interrupted by the hit of the upbeat from John. Oh, I love the fact that he just did an off for it though. He's just like, you know, I'm just completely covered. There's no point, it's too late. And the up tilt. <laughs> John, John Numbers reeling back in his chair after yep. getting hit by that up tilt. And so right now, King Ark throwing out a few pellets. He's trying to get a little something going. Down air and up tilt. Alright, gets a forward tilt off of him. King Ark strapping that Crash Bomber. He gets a hit by the, li the, the last bit of that Crash yep. Bomber from the ledge. And now King Ark with uh, Trying to get something started hit. with the Z-Drop Metal Blade. But unfortunately not being able to connect it. And right now Numbers is looking for any way he can to end the stock. But at least keep King Ark off of him. But King Ark is doing a great job of just like piling on the damage. That was a great roll. Wow. Because he was able to advance while still um, avoiding any extra damage. Uh, they both traded their projectiles, but but Numbers had a stronger projectile, and yeah. that prevailed. Ooh, that was a great leaf shield to cover the roll, doing so much percent, and he almost got the tech chase. Indeed. And right now, Numbers is doing what Numbers does best, and that's just charge up everything that he oh, can. Oh, he's gonna catch him with that down air. He has to recover, uh, he has to mix up his recovery, but then the also danger of is if he recovers a little too close to the ledge, he's going to either get dropped or he's gonna get hit with a back air facing the stage. Wow, F Smash is pushing King Luke all the way back. So the metal blade at him, and of course, King Art getting the, that forward air to throw combo. Yep. And again, like he's now conditioning John to recover really, really close to the edge of the stage. So I won't be surprised if we just see more back uh coming out really, really soon. Unable to convert off of the extended shield stun thanks to the metal blade. And John is able to just you know, let the metal blade hit a shield. Not much else gonna happen there. They get him with that raw back air. Oh, he, I think he hit the crash bomber that was yeah. on, the, on the ledge there. Ooh, oh, secondary hit of F tilt, knocking him all the and way he, up. And he hit him with the back hitbox, too, yep. of uh, four tilt. Mm -hmm. And definitely deep breathing gave that a little extra power and needed to seal that stock away. Oh! Woo -hoo! That was amazing! <laughs> He hit him with like three or four, Jeez, three oh, or four more this. God damn. That was the last thing I was expecting. Watch this, watch this again. Let's count it. Uh-huh. Let's see how many times he how many times he gets him. Let's see. Are we ever gonna see all of it? Wait. One. Two. Three. And then the down air. Beautiful combo coming up from John Numbers. Wow, we fit looks behind her when she does down air. I've never seen that before. Those are the weird hitboxes of We Fit Trainer. Anyhow, definitely. Man, I don't even know what to say about that game. Game two. <laughs> wow. King, I'm gonna hit him with that leaf shield. Gets over the back row. Oh, he wow! The parry's coming out from King Ark. 
parrying both the soccer ball and the sun salutation. And King Kong has to work on the timing of his lunch comes just a little bit because you just see him going a little too early and then him and Numbers simultaneously snapping instead of him getting the chump. Catches him with the up smash. Who tried to get the blade into back here, but I think uh, John might have di downloads or something. He did, he did. It looks like he di down it away in order to avoid getting mm -hmm. hit by that back here. Oh. He sent the crash bomb on to him, but he didn't get hit by it. Low profile in that metal blade. Like He's gonna hit him with that death attack to take the spot away. Ooh, almost getting the back hit off, but the air dodge still enough to go past it, despite how active he is. <laughs> Just tagged him a little bit with the hula hoop. Okay, now King Hog just needs to find a way to close out the stock of back hill off stage, but needs to get a good down he needs to get a good forward hill off stage, and is unable to find it. Wow, that metal blade didn't hit him? Man, we fit us tiny toes. Okay, I'm never saying that for his ago. <laughs> Great. And you know, that was so scary for King Hog because there is a shield break set up for the soccer ball like that. I don't think Numbers perfectly executed it, but that could have been a shield break into who knows what could have happened right there. He, to, oh, he, he did try to go for the stage bike, but instead of using back air, he wanted to do yep. side beat. Ooh, jabbing on a shield, and King Luck is just going to be able to back kill him for free for it. The instant dash get up dash attack is so so good. Just that's a good trade out. there with the uh, crash bomber and the ball. The F smash forcing numbers to recover low, but still able to throw the soccer ball before King Art goes for any other options. I was gonna get this landing there with the grab. And again, like he's not able to get those ledge trumps in time. Nope. Look at him with the floor there. Nah, King Ark not going to have any option off stage there. Right now, just pelleting back the soccer ball. And oh, the F wow. smash catching him. I think he went for the soccer ball, maybe. He probably did. If that's the case, because if that's the case, then if he tried to go for that, he, he really extended great his hurt box. Really soccer oh. ball. Almost getting a whole lot more off of that exchange. Down throw the back air. Oh! Oh! Oh, not gonna still tag him. Now, Numbers getting the dash attack, calling out King Hog for the fact that he used up his air dodge like that. Mm -hmm. Really great falling forward, but unable to convert off of that into the back air. But right now, he's just like keeping John at bay. Woo! That was really good. Back tags him a little bit with the lead shield. Caught him trying to get set, uh, the deep breathing set up. Ooh. King Ark wanted to meet him off stage, but uh, John Numbers had other plans. He wanted to get away from that. <gasps> oh, he got him with the back. But the back the part of the dodge. Oh, that was perfectly spaced and timed for King Oak. He almost didn't make that back. The forward throw off stage, the crash bomber, the metal blade interrupting the oil sphere. Oh, not the oil sphere, goodness, the sun. The sun salutation. Ooh, the soccer ball still able to connect into him. This is a very, very, this is anybody's game right now. It's whoever is going to commit to the aggressive option first. Because both of these characters kill off of aggressive options and they're dropping forward out. Killing John from across the stage. Wow. Yep, and he got that aggressive option that you that you were talking about. King Hawk able to find it with the forward air from the other side of the stage, but John Numbers was at 162. So it just seemed uh, academic at that point that he was gonna get that kill. Alright. Going to PS2 here for uh, game for game three here. What time is it already? Well, it's 10.17 already. Three, two, one.
Alright, so there we go, game three. John Up is already opting to uh, set up deep breathing. Oh, but he couldn't get him with a soccer ball. Using the platform to get that up air conversion. Healing all that jab. Parrying the soccer ball. I'm gonna punish him again for that. Caught him setting up deep breathing. Jod numbers with Sun Salutation on deck. And with a dash attack. <laughs> King Arc just hitting that soccer ball away with the pellets and then raising him up with the up air. Jumping so, over the Sun Salutation. Yep. Right now, numbers really well at like, spacing those back hits. Able to get a hit off of King Arc and effectively reset neutral by doing so. Oh! <laughs> Beautiful the shield break from King Arc. Wow, numbers exploded. And now King Ark is definitely sitting in a comfortable position, but... Oh, never mind. The, the, uh, the Ooh, deep breathing buff just went away. The Metal Blade huh, interacting with the down air that, that could have been really, really bad for King Ark if that had actually resulted in the hitbox extension. But luckily it did not. But now this time he's able to get the ledge jump back out. And the C-drop almost confirming into the down air. Wow. Yep. Right, he's gonna, he's gonna tag him though with that forward tilt to take the stock. You know, a uh, Wii F tilt is maybe one of the most scary moves. It has a hitbox all over the body. It can kill you vertically, it can kill you horizontally. That move genuinely does it all. And it can also hit from behind. Yep. As we've already seen earlier. Yep. We're not getting an up air, but falling out of the first hit and back air, really, really unfortunate. Yeah. Some drop middle blade, but John was going to drift away from the uh, from the ledge with the side beat. I don't believe that dash attack was intentional. I think he might have opted for a drop down forward, uh, run off forward or rather, but wasn't able to get it out of time. Yeah, that was definitely the case there. Nice guys, yeah, crash bomb is strapped to him. Can't get the back Almost air. Almost getting the back air. Shielding that, that, that side B. Ah, oh, but see, that's the power of uh, deep breathing sun salutation. Yep. Throwing that metal blade, but couldn't get a combo off of it. And right now. You already put him up to 32%. And make that 55. And it's crazy how like, King Ark like, had to sleep, but John did such a good job in coming back. Oh, he's going deep. He went really, really deep. Oh, but getting he's gonna get punished him again. forward, having to recover so linearly, is like asking to get down it. <laughs> Indeed. And right now, he's looking to get something started with those dropping forwarders, unable to convert it off into a back air. John Numbers just keep, keeping himself off stage, yep. just trying to tag him with the soccer ball. And hit him with that forward smash. Just gonna opt to recover, not gonna buff anything. The up a forward throw. No, not okay, gonna... now the leaf shield was such a great job of just poking him and forcing him to recover again. Every single little bit of damage counts. And the down mm. unfortunately didn't get spiked. But the Metal Blade just keeps on adding the percent. And once again, as we've seen multiple times throughout the set, you see the up B trading with the back air, forcing it to not be complete, working through the favor of John significantly. He's going for another down and reading a recovery move. King Oak has to now make it back. And the get up forward and almost nah, kill not yet. That was such good awareness. Oh, oh no. Ugh. Yeah, John Numbers ain't liking that one. He, he dropped too yep. low. That's that's crazy. <sighs> okay. So, so game four, um, King Oak is doing a fantastic job at holding. Like he's already what is it two one? Yeah, it's two so one all he needs is one more game, and he will be advancing, I believe, into the losers finals, which would be so so big. Fighting, um, oh no, not goodness, losers semis, but he will be meeting Jen. That is, unless 
Jean is able to make the comeback. Yeah. Going list, they're going to be opting for the PS2. I love the spacing of the Metal Blade, but it was just a little bit too low because oh. he was trying to get it so that he'd get him when he was dropping and get him while he was standing, while still standing on the platform. Yeah, and of course, we don't see numbers opting to go for a uh, sword fighter. He's, he's going to stick with the Wii trainer on this one. I love the use of the double pallet from uh, King Oak right now. Just not only interrupting him, but dealing damage little by little. Alright, gonna get him with that forward air, side B. Oh, going so deep to try to get a forward air, because that easily would have been the end of the stop. And he's not getting punished too much for committing to that, only taking a little bit of percent. And he still currently holds all the stage that he could possibly want. He has all the stage control, he has all the positioning control. He's set up with Metal Blade. Ooh, that Whoa. was definitely quite the mix-up. Not expecting John to recover high above the ledge like that. Yeah. Good tech from Numbers. Wow. Unfortunately, oh, that crash bomb disappeared before it lashed itself onto the ledge. And the F smash. Oh, that easily would have been the stock had the soccer ball not been there. Numbers much rather getting hit by a soccer ball than a uh, single charge F smash. The drop down Ooh. read. That was so brilliant. Yeah, now he's got to watch out because he does have deep breathing. Looking for the forward air. He's looking to do anything really right now. I that was a oh, punish. Smash. Yes. Can go dropping the lead that he had right now. Really good use of the Z drop metal, but surprised to see it's going to hit again. Ooh, right now he's off stage against John. Not where you want to be, but the get up forward air. Not taking it quite yet. See, nah, this time he's not going to try and go for a back air because he knows that Johnson's going to be able to take it. But he does get it with yep. the up smash. And Mega Man's up smash is so lethal and it's so quick. Such a fantastic option for things like roll leads. Avoiding that. Little by little with those pellets, King Oak is able to come back this game. Number is opting to jump off stage and charge his sun, so sun salutation a little bit longer. Really great up tilt from Numbers, just caught like, a great use of an anti air against King Oak. And uh, King Oak's Metal Blade almost being used against him then. Alright, gonna pick him with that with that soccer ball. Soccer ball is just such a great tool at forcing. Um, you know, it just like forces your opponent to consider one more option while you're recovering. You know, every, almost every single character in the game has an option like that, you know. Like, yeah. you see uh, Mega Man's issues with the Crash Bomber, or the way he shoots out the pellets of Metal Blade back onto stage. It just forces your opponent to be a little bit more creative with their ledge trapping. Numbers are opting for the back throw instead of forward throw, not wanting to stale it. Mm -hmm. oh, he drops the Metal Blade. That's, ooh. Right now, King Oak is at a really, really high percent. Has more than a 173, but he's just he's just shielding and parrying all these projectiles like a take is stuck in an instant. Wow. John getting Good a stuff. little bit King tilted. Arc. Yeah, getting a little bit tilted there. I mean, Charging up his oil. I'm not gonna stand why because now he's on his turn to miss stock. Oh, but that forward air is gonna make it even. Landing, no, I no. love the landing up there is coming from King Oak because they're not really all that middle and they sort of act on their own and if he does connect it, it has so much reward. Uh, numbers are going so deep to try to edge guard King Oak, but I love the fact that he didn't press the button. You know, he's just like, you know what, I should let this one go and went yeah. back onto stage. I'm right, gonna set up deep breathing off stage. He's, now King Oak just wants to really be careful with what he does because he doesn't want to get hit by anything that John Numbers King is. King Oak really wanting to close it out right now. And Numbers is not getting the lead on the shield drop. Or the drop shield rather. Back air. Right, take Metal Blade in hand. I'll take with a neutral get up, but just gonna go off stage just immediately. King Oak just... getting a great punish on the whiff dash attack with the pallets. <laughs> it's funny, just as, just as you see John Numbers get back on stage, he just hops right off. Yep. Right there. <laughs> yeah, right there. 
just go off stage, charge up Sun Salutation. But again, she's just like exploiting the fact that you can't really contest Wii Fit off stage. Yeah, you can't really. Ooh, and the F tilt, knocking him up all the way. Ooh, that the down air, the, the back air. Oh, he's not gonna drop that low. Okay. This is really, really tough right now. It can be anybody's game. One good conversion from King of. Or yeah. one good anything from a Wii Fit with deep breathing. Yeah, well right now he doesn't have the deep breathing setup, but he does have Sun Salutation. We're getting that, again, the angled Metal Blade into the forward of really, really beautiful stuff. And I don't know if he realizes that he's holding on to King Hunt's Metal Blade, but that was deep breathing. Quite blank deep breathing Sun Salutation from one side of the stage to the other. We are taking this one to Game 5. Okay. Um, they're opting to go through Battlefield, which I think favors actually Mega Man a lot more than it would Wii Fit. Mega Man is able to get so many extensions on the platforms like that. Most well, certainly. Um, Yo, have a look at that. Nope, we are in game five right now. Opting through Battlefield, and Mega Man is able to get so much of like the up airs on the platforms, especially with the Metal Blades, using the angled Metal Blades. Three, really, really good two, stuff there. One. And both of these characters are not necessarily the world's greatest jugglers either, so they don't mind the fact that uh, they don't mind landing on top of one another. Um, and again, like already, with 15 seconds in, and already the set is being played at ledge. This is just indicative of how the rest of the game is going to go. Yeah, it's with a dash attack. Oh, at that time he gets Woo! the side B spike. And such a lead for numbers right now in a game five scenario is so good for him. Yep, and once again, numbers is going to play the offstage game, setting up what he needs yep. to set up. Falling now, unable to convert off into anything else with it. He's maybe looking to maybe start something with the uppers and forwarders afterwards. Right now, King Ark wants to clutch out the stop with the downers, but is unable to find them. I'll pick him a little bit within there. <laughs> Just catches him with that back hit box of the dove yep. jab one. But now really, really great metal blade pressure. Just forcing John to recover a certain way. John committing off stage, not able to get the lead with the soccer ball though. Unfortunately, really, really great back here out of shield, and suddenly King Oak is down three to one stocks, and numbers is only at fifty-two percent. Now 50%, like the gap against Weefa can be so difficult, especially considering she will keep healing. Yeah, and especially the way John Numbers plays, it's not going to be easy for King Ork to put any more damage on him right now. 58%, 64, 77, oh, and the F smash lead, the three stock for game five. Ooh. Totally, the couple's elite reversal of momentum. Numbers well, taking that in dominating fashion. Yep. Um, and I will be right back. That to go. Go for it, man. All right, what's happening, y'all? So, 